y'all YouTuber. Welcome back to Maddie's Kitchen. Today I'm getting ready for Christmas. I'll be making a ham. And I went to uh, Publix. They got three types of ham. This is a honey sparrow ham. It's already cut. They also have, you want to buy, if you don't like the sweet, uh -huh, the sparrow ham, most of the sweet. This is considered sweet ham. And then you also have a salty ham, you know, which I don't think I like that. And you also have a smoked ham. So those are three types that I know. It might be another type, but I'm going to chose to use um, the sparrow. And I just got a regular ham um, from, I bought it from Publix. And uh, this ham is fully cooked. All you need is about a good 30 minutes until the ham warm up. Don't overcook your ham. Make sure you don't overcook it. And they have a package in here. See that little uh, 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 honey uh, uh, work uh, package glaze mix. It's a honey glaze mix. But I'm going to also be using my own uh, ingredients. For this ham, I have some yellow mustard. And the mustard is for the to, uh, to uh, you know, tone down the sweetness that you put in there. That helps cut, uh, curve it down and also make it taste good. This is pineapple juice, regular dough pineapple juice. And this is some honey. And here's brown sugar. And that's all you need to do is to uh, put on your ham. You don't need too much more because they're cooked, like I said, and you don't want to overcook them. Okay, I'll get back with you when I get my ham ready. Okay, y'all, I got the ham. I washed my ham, and this is a pretty uh, uh, pretty good piece of ham. And they sparrow real good. It's not, uh, you can cut that in two sides, cut sparrow really good. Most time you don't see it. It's called when you buy your ham. It's how that cut, and I can just pour, pour that juice right in there, the mixture. I already cut. It always be sparrow down till they get to their end, but this is a good piece of meat. I love this meat. Okay, now. I'm getting ready to mix my ingredients. Oh, this, like I said, this is some pineapple juice, which is good. It's dough. I'm gonna put a little honey in here. Put a little honey in here. In here. It ain't gonna be that much. It's gonna flavor it. Put a little honey in here. Okay. Because when they say sweet ham, you want your ham to taste sweet, not too sweet. And that's why you use some mustard, so mustard can turn it down. And this is the package that came with the ham, honey, flavor, glaze mix. I'm not going to get rid of them, so I'm going to put some in here. Put some in here. As long as you've got enough to pour this, this is good. And I'm going to put some uh, mustard. And what the mustard do is the mustard uh, calm it down. You know, the sweetness, it breaks it down. It don't be too sweet. So you always should put a little mustard in with your mix. A lot of people don't know that, but make sure you put some mustard in here. So now I'm going to put some old brown sugar in here. And I'm going to stir this up. Really good. It's so simple making a ham. And if you don't want to do all of this ready, I like doing this right here. I'm going to mix this good so I can pour it. Oh, brother, made a mess. That's okay. All I want to do is just mix this up really good. Stir it. Probably going to take a good little minute or two. So I'm going to get back with you when I get through uh, mixing this up and show you how it looks. Okay, you all, I mixed the honey, mustard. I put a little mustard in here and brown sugar. That's all you need. And it was a package that came with the meat. And so I'm going to pour it between there. Just, that's all you need. Honey, like I said. Put a little honey, and that's up to your taste. Now, you might not like honey, but if you put honey and mustard and brown sugar in there, make sure you lose a little mustard so it can uh, calm down the sweetness. Okay, now I'm getting ready. I'm going to do is right now. I'm going to set this here. I'm going to start pouring some of this between the sparrow. So I got to be careful so I won't, you know, just pour it in here. So I'm going to pour some of that in there between the sparrow and stuff. And they did a good job with sparrow, because you know sometimes sparrow, this is kind of thick though, but I'm gonna pour some of this in here. Pour it in there, each one of those. So it can go through the ham. You see how I'm pouring it in there? And it's gonna be good. This is a sweet ham. It's not that sweet, they just call them sweet, smoked, and salty ham. So, I mean, it's a little sweet, but it's not that sweet. So now I'm gonna take this, I poured it all through there. I'm gonna take and glaze this down. Put some of this on here, you know, and just glaze it down really good. That mustard, brown sugar, and honey. And pineapple juice. I, I, I forgot that I put pineapple juice in here too. And all you're gonna do is just, you know, gonna glaze it down so it can have that little crunch. Make sure you take and um, do it good with this right here. With this little brush, brush it down really good. 
and you're going to put it in a deep. See, I got this in a deep pot. You want it to be in a deep uh, pan so it can, you don't want to dry it on the sides because if you have it in a, uh, a kind of uh, shadow pan, it might dry it on the sides of it, you know, on the side of it. So I'm going to turn this over a little bit, set this down, and I'm going to turn this over. Well, I'm making a little mess, but I'll get it to dry. So I'm going to turn it on this side right here, see? By the spiral, and I'm going to put some in here. And all these slices, I'm going to pour it right down in here. So I did that. That's going to be good. And they did a good job on sparrow this ham. I never saw one this good. But I guess because I go to Publix, you know, to get a, a good deal. This ham wasn't that expensive neither. I asked the meat man for a good ham. He said, this is a good one for bacon. It's causing what kind you want. Because I told him I prefer. I don't like a salty ham, so I'm pouring all this in there. And it's going to be good. It's going to be all in there. I turned it on the other side. See how this fell off? But that's all right. It'll be in the pot. When I put this in the oven, y'all, I'm going to cover it for about, uh, I'm going to cover it for about, about 30, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And then after, do, after I get through covering, I'm going to take it in a, put all this in there. I'm going to take it uh, uncovered and so it can brown a little bit. This will spare a little too much, but that's okay. And let that fall right there. So I can put it right there, through there. And I probably look at it and put a little bit more of this on there. Like I say. Okay. I'm getting ready to wrap this up. See, I got my stove. I got my stove um, turned to 300. That's good enough because, like I said, this ham is already cooked. I'll get back with you when I clean my mess up. Okay, you all, I wrap my, I double wrap my uh, ham so, you know, so all the air can stay in, I mean, all the heat, I'm sorry, can stay in there and go through those sparrow because this was a sparrow ham. And what I did, I took all, like I said, I made it with pineapple juice, some dough pineapple juice, some mustard, and some honey. And a little brown sugar. So when I stirred it up really good and stirred it up and I poured it, I poured the, the mixture that I did. And I also used the package, you know, that came with the ham. You can just use this if you want to, but you can enhance your flavor by putting in some mustard, like I say, some honey, and some uh, brown sugar and, and uh, a pineapple juice. It's the same problem. This only thing is you would take this package and put in some pineapple juice. And like I said, I poured it through the ham and the ham and stuff. And uh, changed the stove to 350 so it won't cook so long. And um, I could have put pineapple on top because I had pineapples. I could have put the cherry in the middle. But the reason I don't do that because most people, it's a waste of money to me. It looks very beautiful. It'll win award. It's so pretty. But who eats the pineapple with the cherry and the brown sugar? And I don't think nobody eats that, uh, that uh, uh, a sweet taste in pineapple. So I, what I do, I just take and put it in the refrigerator and eat the pineapple out of the can fresh uh, later on. So I'm getting ready to put this in the oven, like I say, and it's going to be about 45 to an hour, about 45 minutes, a good 35, I mean, less than an hour. And then once I, once it's standing for an hour, I'm going to uh, take it out and show y'all the results, and then I'm going to put it back in here to give it that little brown uh, look. Okay, I'm getting ready. Put it in the oven. And kind of put it in the center of the oven, you know, set it like that in the center of the oven. Now the oven is good and hot, like 350 is a good uh, temperature. Okay, then I'll get back with you in about 45 minutes. Hey, y'all, now tuck it. They've been cooking for about 45 minutes, about 30 minutes, and it's done. I'm going to let it, now I'm going to get that crispy. I use the same thing. I'm glazing it, putting this on here, and putting it around it so it can seek in it. And I'm going to put it in the oven, get that crispy. All you got to do, and change your oven to broil. That's what I got it on. I'm stay in there no more and have your oven real high. And you're going to let it stay in here not long at all. Let's see. Yes, yeah, real tender. See? Watch this. See? Uh, mm. That's good. I'm going to let your ham cook long now. And this glaze is the same thing that I used. I told you the, the, the um, pineapple juice, brown, uh, um, brown sugar, mustard, and a little um, honey. Now I'm going to set this back in the stove, uncovered, until I get a little brown glaze on it. 
That's all you need. Make sure you put put your stove on high and let it cook. All you're doing, let now you're gonna let it get a brown on it. Put it back in here. The stove is on broil, and you're gonna check this. Don't let this stay on too long in here without checking it, cause that's the stove is high. And that's a simple, simple meal. Get ready for Christmas, and that's all you need is your put your uh, ham in there, and let it cook. Don't fuss over it. Cook it just like I told you, and it will be delicious. There you go. Okay, y'all. Here's a dripping from the uh, from the skillet. I mean, from the pot. I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to get out of here because this ham is kind of big. But that's the results of it. It's the final touch. Make sure you all hit that notification bell when I get through. I'm gonna make y'all some green. I'm gonna try to get some green beans with potatoes in for Christmas. I'm gonna try to get that in. So I cook this ham. Look, don't fuss over your ham. Please don't be in there fussing over. Just cook it and uh, uh like I said, cook it and hold oh, this right here. Take this right here. Mmm, that's good. This ham is so good, y'all. It really is. You please, y'all, hit that notification bell. And here's y'all. Y'all ham for Thanksgiving. I mean, I'm sorry. I keep saying Thanksgiving. Y'all forgive me. My ham for Christmas. And like I said, don't fuss over it. And don't forget to, to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share it with somebody else. This is my... Uh, my Christmas uh, ham, and I'm going to uh, put this in the freezer and freeze it and warm it up when Christmas comes.